Special needs in education refer to particular educational requirements resulting from learning difficulties, physical disability or emotional and behavioral difficulties. The physical and medical challenges are medical conditions or diseases that require ongoing medical care. For example, the sensory challenges that are usually allowed either in hearing or in vision or more rarely could be in both. And there, there is also motor, motor disabilities which are um, physical impairments that can impede movement, coordination or sensation. An intellectual disability is a significant limitation in a student's cognitive functioning and daily adaptive behaviors. Behavioral disorders are a diverse group of conditions in which a student chronically performs highly inappropriate behavior. Number one will be to provide an easily understood and detailed course syllabus and make syllabus texts and other materials available before re registration. If materials are online, consider colors, fonts, and formats that are easily viewed by students with low vision or a form of color blindness. On the first day of class, you can distribute a brief getting to know you questionnaire that ends with the question, is there anything you would like me to know about you? Do not assume what students can and cannot do uh, regarding to class participation. Think of multiple ways students may be able to participate without feeling excluded. It's valuable for everyone concerned. The students with disabilities themselves tend to experience a richer educational environment, both socially and academically. An example to help a student with special needs would be the IEP, which means the Individual Educational Plan. It is an annual plan for each student with a disability. The plan is created by a team of individuals who know the student's strengths and needs. The IEP describes a student's current social and academic strengths. It also specifies educational goals or objectives for the coming year. The coming year leads special services to be provided and describes how progress toward the goals will be assessed at the end of the year. First of all, thinking inclusively. Planning your classroom with IEP in mind. Leads general needs. Use separate sheets for specific short-term objectives as appropriate. And including family planning and implementation. 